World going crazy. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning everybody out there watching this show this morning. This is the Tony Commander, J.R. Kropokpa Chess and Talk Show. Welcome. Today is September the 23rd. It's a Wednesday. We're on to a new day. Let's begin my lesson. The situation in Iberia is very terrible now. You see the hope of Liberia, the CPP that everybody look to and hope for as the new leadership of Liberia. The party that will lead Liberia to change. It can't happen. It can't happen. The leaders of Liberia too corrupt. Our country is still ruled by war lords and war criminals of Ellen Johnson, Salif, and Charles Taylor. And until these people are taken out of Liberian society, there is no peace for Liberia. There is no development in Liberia. Yeah, we have little light sports here and talk about minor development. What about up country? Look at the roads on my video here. Look at how terrible our country is. After nearly 200 years of existence, our people neglect the masses of people up country and only concentrate on Monrovia. And the whole significance of development rests on how that Monrovia looks. And this is failing the Liberian people time and again. I listened to young Duke Estrada JJ this morning expressing his frustration in the political leaders of our country, in the political system in Liberia. And I told him time again, I told them time again, Ellie Cummings joining with CPP 
and Ben and I, you, and Boka, and all these people, has proven that he is weak, that his leadership is flawed. Because you cannot come and say you're talking for change, then you join with the crooks that have led Liberia for over, two, uh, uh, for over 50, 60, 70 years, almost 100 years. You join with these people talking about change. How, how things will change in our country? Now it come to prove, to, to prove the proof in the Putin that these guys are too smart for Ella Cummings. They will do what they want to do, and they're using him. Now the ANC has come to disrepute. Tao Wangwe, their, their candidate, their staunch member of the ANC, who were running for the senatorial position in Nimba. And he got overthrown by Ben and I, Yuri, and Charles Taylor Woman. And what her name? Ide Gongolo. You know, everything people that Ben and I, Yuri, are doing in Liberia has corrupt implications. Why you think I can't work with that man? You think I work for a man like Ben and I, Yuri, on her hand and he's stealing? And I got to bear the weight of it? Ben and I is a rogue. The man is the wealthiest man in Liberia. Ben and I family never had that kind of wealth before. So where you get that kind of wealth? No man can work his life in a short time and become as rich as Ben and I Yuri from our war to now. You know, then you're talking about man honest and truthful. Then you go join that kind of man. You'll destroy your own political party. You'll destroy your own existence. Not tie one way has resigned from the uh, ANC because of the, the memorandum they wrote that if if anybody wins the election from the party, nobody else can run as an independent. So even though Ben and I then stab him in the back and carry this idiot woman, after they know Ta is with the ANC, he's running for Nima County, he's a young guy, he has, he, he's inspired and, and, and driven as a patriot of his country. Now Ben and I, you would then bring this old child to the woman and the corrupt people to come put in our government. As long as Ellen Johnson said he alive, as long as Ben and I, you were alive, as long as Borka alive, as long as all the old evil people alive in Liberia will never have equality, justice, and liberty in Liberia. These people gotta go. America don't want to take them because the America know these people are corrupt. And their corruption has spurred massive exploitation. Wealth and resources are taken for little or nothing. And these people are sharing the wealth. Ben and I, Yuri, George Weir, Samuel Tu, Nad Samuel Tue, Nad McGill, all these people are robbing our country. They are taking the Liberian people for fools and idiots. But do you, your senior, all your young people behind ANC and this useless leadership, you will come to see that Ella Cummings is no different from these people. Look at that letter he wrote talking about they, they want to send equity because send equity is the, is, the, is the symbol of African independence and all this shit. What? Do the people of Nima County know about Sunny Kole 1963 and all of that? They don't know it. The masses of the people don't even know what you're talking about. So when you write those kind of letters to the people of Liberia in this day and age and, and, and we make a reference to Sunny Kole as a place of independence for uh, recognized throughout Africa where, where the, the, the African unity started. Liberian people don't know those things. They don't know them. So all the things you 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 you, you propagate into the people, they're not taught that kind of thing. Our educational standards are far below what they should be. So how do people will understand what you're talking? Who cares about what happened in 1963 when they don't even know what happened in 1978 or 79 or 80? Our country is backwards, and you people still pretending that our people are aware and conscious of their livelihood and lifestyles. 
They did not. And that was better than you were then controlling masses of the people. Because the people know them as warlords, as people who killed them. So anything they do, they don't care about you, Ella Cummings. You are a little boy coming here with your little Coca-Cola business and you dealing with these people who have robbed our country blind and they gotta hide it because they know they will face justice. They know a man like me, I will prosecute them. They are thinking. And they, they ain't scared of, they ain't scared of uh, Ella Cummings. Who is Ella Cummings? Ella Cummings got education abroad. But I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. I told you that. When the Liberian people wake up and know who their true leaders are, we're coming to get you. You all who have ripped our country off, you think I'm coming because of my pie and all that kind of stupid thing? No, I want no revenge. But I will punish you for stealing our money, for ripping our country blind, and putting men like me in exile all these years when I should be home building my country. This is your international community. This is your foreigner we all love so much. They have put our country in total demise under the criminals. And there's no changing except the Liberian people rise up and get rid of Ellen Johnson Salif and get rid of George Weah, Ben and I, you are already going to go to jail. Let me deal with the criminals of Liberia. You're scared of those people. Let me come and frock them and put them in jail for you. And you will know Liberia is for the Liberian people. I for a full group of people. Hmm? Ben and I, my cousin, you think I'm not pissed off with him ripping off our country like the way he's doing? Then he see a man like me come in Liberia, he talk foolishness to me. That shows that you people are evil. They come with their warlord mentality and think they can control the masses of Liberian people because you're blind and you have no inclination of knowledge and understanding of your own plights. That's why they do these things. Now Duke, JJ, you are seen that all the young people going crazy because they can't believe the degree of treachery, the degree of deceitfulness, the degree of disunity that a certain group of people bring to the group. And people have been doing the thing for long. This thing now you knew in Liberia, that way you don't know Liberian politics. You didn't go to LU, you didn't go to Cardinal. You will never understand Liberian politics. Because that's where Liberian politics is bred. In college. Look at all the people demonstrating today. Who you think they are? The little militants around here, instead of being in school, they're running around singing all the militant songs and, and losing their education. You can have that degree in the future. You can't sit in an interview. You can't propound yourself to prove that you got that degree. You ain't working in our government. Nobody just come in with degree and say they know this, they know that. No, you gotta prove it. You can't prove it, you're not working. You, you, you give her a school name, that school doesn't recognize you, you ain't getting no job. We'll track everybody down in Liberia because this thing has to stop. I advise you to go listen to uh, Duke Estrada JJ's tape. He's with ANC, he's one of the staunch members of the ANC. Go listen to the tape and hear what he got to say. You know, how our country is just going around the mark with criminals and war laws and war rogues. And, and these people cannot continue to run our country. Ellen Johnson said got to be removed from high horse and put in jail right now and, and explain to us where our money is and let's get our money back. All her children need to be put in jail and tell us where, they bring, where our money is. There will be no play in Liberia. I want my money back. And these corrupt people cannot continue to rule our country with impunity and wickedness and murderous intentions. We gotta change our country. We gotta change our country. My second point, old style of politics. Same thing, same thing. That was Duke, AJ, uh, Duke JJ main point. We gotta change the old style of politics. We gotta introduce new things, but it will not come on their you in America. Understand 
what the plight of the Liberian people truly are. You all can't stay here and follow the same old rogues and old criminals in Liberia and think they would bring you to freedom. How can you try follow men like Ben and I, you, who became rich overnight, millionaire overnight, and you hope for good things to come out of their party? Boca. You must be dreaming. So the old style of politics is corruption, is murder. We have no old style of politics no more. We got warlords leading our country and war criminals who have killed people and have robbed our country and have no compassion for the masses of the Liberian people. They have no feelings in their hearts for our people and they want to continue to rob our country, rob our country, rob our country to enrich themselves and their families. And all the masses of our people sit down and see this thing going on and we still be loyal and honest and, and, and respectful to these criminals. This is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. I have to cease and desist. I see my country going down the hole and down the trenches every, every day. And we can't help ourselves. We can't resurrect our country because the warlords and the rogues continue to suppress us, continue to depress us, continue to oppress us, continue to do every negative thing to maintain their self in power. The old system of politics in Liberia must change. And the way, only way we change is that we get rid of all these warlords. They gotta get rid of our, they gotta get out of our system. We gotta get rid of all these warlords. By any means necessary, we got to get rid of them. From Ellen Johnson, Boca, Ben and I, Europe, uh, 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 and Vanny Sherman, all these criminals in our country, we got to get rid of them and put them in jail. These people got to go to jail for the corruption dispute in our country for these many years. They got to go to jail for the violence dispute in our country for 14 years of civil war. They got to go to jail for stealing from our people and our country with impunity, in compassion, wickedness. These people gotta pay. They gotta pay. Our people can die and suffer relentlessly because of the evil people ways and will continue to condone them. The old style of politics in Liberia must change. Be patriots. We need all loyalists. We need Liberian people who love our country and our people instead of themselves and their children. The time of the Liberian people is now. Ellen Johnson Salif and all these warlords and war criminals and war supporters in our country must be removed now for our country to live. Our country got to survive, and we can't survive with the war criminals and useless rogues leading our country. Now, Duke, JJ has said it, it's a criminal enterprise. All these people are criminals, and they will do anything to maintain themselves in power. Any way necessary. And we got to be ready to resist these people by any means necessary to. Liberia is for us. It's not for the damn rogues. And it's time for us to stand up to them and let them know that the time of the Liberian people is now. Finish with this point. My third point, erosion in downtown Sino. The ocean is taking our country. Not only in Sino County, I went to Cape Man. The ocean has taken part of uh, 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 Cape Man County. It has taken part of the county. The Piso River, the ocean, all of them encroaching on the property. Now here it is in San County downtown. People got them, people are losing their homes. People are becoming homeless because the ocean is coming inland, taking over the land as our government continues to rip off our country and steal our money and, 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 and do all kinds of corrupt things to keep themselves in power. And they know they are useless. They know they're incompetent. They know they're from the slums and can't help our people. The time of the Liberian people is now. Y'all wake up. 
our country will continue to go down, go down. The leaders in Liberia are blocking us from coming home. I ain't coming home under no stupid conditions. I'm a Liberian citizen. When I hit Liberia, things change in my country. And y'all know me. Y'all know me. I ain't care about these people. The interests of my country and my people are primary. I don't care about no cousin. I don't care about no relative who won't put me in, 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 in servitude to him. Talking about Mr. President, Mr. President, Ben and I, you got to go to jail. All these people got to go to jail. These people there come and run our country and don't take, take care of the interests of our people. They just want to steal, 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 and they want to cover up the stealing. You ain't covering it up because we're coming after you. Every penny you took from our country, we're coming after you. Ben and I, you hear, all that radio station you got is for the Liberian people. We're coming after it. And nobody can be, no rogue in Liberia going to escape us. And I promise you, I will, if the, yo, as long as you get convicted, I will flock the daylights out of you and put you in jail. The time of Liberian people is now. When I told my people in Kiris, bro, I would flock Liberian people, they were laughing. Hey, hey, you, you backwards, you backwards. Yeah, I'm backwards, but if our country is far backwards than me. You're, you're laughing at me. You all will live and see it. I will flock Ben and Ayure and everybody who has stolen from the Liberian people and will take our money back. The time of the Liberian people is now. Now, let's get on this election commission. We know nothing but rogues in this election commission. We know now our whole leadership of Liberia are nothing but corrupt, evil men and women. They are nothing but warlords and war traitors. They are nothing but useless beggars. And we got to discipline these people in our country. We got to change the trajectory of our country. We got to change from this dishonest, disgusting Republic of Liberia to a Liberia with pride and dignity that exists under the constitution and laws of the Republic of Liberia. We got to change our country. We got to change our direction. And maybe that will change Africa. Maybe that will put us on a course to be men of dignity and pride and honesty and sincerity. We can't stop corruption, but we can minimize it. We can make people scared to even venture to be corrupt. We can make our young children patriots and true leaders of Liberia through the examples we set of our roads today. I am not in for no war crimes court. I'm in for Liberian people rising up, taking over our government, and our country for the warlords and let me come home and prosecute them and fuck them and put them in Belayara for the rest of their lives. That's no promise. That's a patriotic call for Liberian people to rise up and stand with me. Let's clean up our country. Let's rid our country of war laws and war criminals. Let me come home for five years and straighten up Liberia. Five years, let me straighten up our country. Let me put Liberia back on the map as a free nation. Negro people, ne true Negro men and women of the world. Let me discipline these rogues. I'm appealing to you. Our people are dying for nothing. Our country is dying for nothing. Look at this video. Look at our roads. Look at how the people neglect our people up country. The masses of our people live up country, not in Monrovia. And all those people in Monrovia got to claim Monrovia and go back to the villages to build our country. The time of the Iberian people is now. My young children, I always end with talking to you all. I always end with bringing you all in focus to the conditions of our country, to your own lives and the neglect that our leaders has demonstrated towards uplifting your lives, towards changing the direction of your people and your families, towards setting you kids up for your own independence and freedom as men and women of the West African Republic of Liberia. Our people are not supposed to be dependent on the government. 
our people not supposed to be dependent on men and women like themselves. Our people supposed to be independent, free working, hard working, honest men and women who can earn their own living. But these leaders, people, the leadership, this leadership of our country, from time immemorial, have made us lazy, have made us very dependent, and have broken our country down because we have relied on them, we have reposed our trust and confidence in them forever, and they have let us down time and time and time again. We need new leadership. The old style of politics cannot change except we get leaders who are not a part of this corrupt, evil system in Liberia. We get leaders who are clean and have stood up for Liberia from time immemorial and know our history, our people, and our country. I am that leader to set Liberia straight and get rid of our criminals. The time of the Liberia is now. My lesson is over. Aluta! Continue. I'm out, ladies and gentlemen. Let me take you out with some lemon. Let me give you some sounds of wisdom and some sounds of, of joy and peace and happiness and all the things our people need to get us back to shit. Pay attention, folks. Our lives depend on it. Is it all right? The world is going on the sunshine face. Is it all right? You tell us them. Bye bye, ladies and gentlemen. See you tomorrow. The struggle continues. Liberia is for Liberians, and we must stand up for our country. Have a good day. Bum, 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 bum,